Hello, my friends. Today on Sentence Analysis Advanced, we are going to learn about subject and predicate number three. Remember, our subject is what our sentence is about, and our predicate tells us more about our subject. So we have two sentences today. Yesterday, the boy slowly cooked chicken noodle soup in the kitchen for his mom to eat, and last night, a cat quickly caught a mouse to give to the boy. Now you might have noticed that on our verb, we have these four orange circles in front of it now. We are going to be looking for the why, the how, the when, and the where that relates to our verb. Let's start with our first sentence. Yesterday, the boy slowly cooked chicken noodle soup in the kitchen for his mom to eat. We know that cooked is our verb because that's our action. So let's cut out cooked. We'll try to keep our sentence in order as much as possible here so we don't get too mixed up. So there's our verb cooked. And we know our subject would then be the boy. So let's cut out the boy and keep slowly and yesterday still in our sentence order here. Oops, looks like yesterday flipped upside down. Okay, so now we know the boy cooked. What did the boy cook? That is our direct object. He cooked chicken noodle soup. So let's Cut out chicken noodle soup, because that is our direct object. He cooked chicken noodle soup. And who did he cook chicken noodle soup for? He cooked it for his mom. So let's cut out his mom. Okay, and let's turn our words around. There we go. So now we're still left with these words right here. Let's see if we can figure out where they go. Yesterday. Could you, Does yesterday talk about the subject? Maybe, but let's look at the verb. Our verb is cooked. When did we cook the chicken noodle soup? Well, we cooked it yesterday. How did the boy cook the chicken noodle soup? He cooked it slowly. Why did the boy cook the chicken noodle soup? To eat. Where did the boy cook the chicken noodle soup? He cooked it in the kitchen. You know, I think we can cut off the word for. He cooked it in the kitchen for his mom. So we know that the boy cooked chicken noodle soup for his mom. He cooked it slowly. He cooked it yesterday. He cooked it in the kitchen and he cooked it for his mom to eat. Our subject is the boy. Our predicate is how the boy cooked the soup, who he cooked it for. Alrighty, so let's move on. Moving this sentence up here. I'm not gonna put it back in order. I think that's okay if it's not. We got the idea. Let's look at our next sentence. Last night, a cat quickly caught a mouse to give to the boy. Our verb is caught. So let's cut out caught, because we know that that is the action that the cat did. The cat caught a mouse. Who or what is it that caught something? A cat. So let's cut out a cat, leaving yesterday and quickly 
still sitting out. We'll find where they go here soon. Okay, let's turn a cat around. I don't know why they keep cutting upside down and backwards. Okay, a cat caught. What is that a cat caught? A mouse. So let's cut out a mouse. A cat caught a mouse. To who or for whom did the cat caught or catch the mouse? For the boy. So a cat caught a mouse for the boy. Now let's look at the rest of our sentence here. When did the cat catch the mouse? Last night. The cat caught the mouse last night. How did the cat catch the mouse? The cat caught the mouse quickly. Why did the cat catch the mouse? The cat caught the mouse to give it to the boy. We don't know where the cat caught the mouse, and that's okay. All of these might not be filled up. Alrighty, my friends. Go and have some fun working on sentence analysis advanced subject and predicate number three. Bye.